Antonia Porcel, Thailand! Thailand! Hello Universe, I am Antonia Porcel, Miss Universe Thailand. I graduated with a major of public relations and advertising. I also have my own charity project called Little Steps, which I founded 10 years ago to give back to communities in need in rural areas of Thailand. I know that I have the platform to be the voice for the people who feel like their voices are unheard. And I've also felt many times that my voice was unheard and I know that that hurt me. I don't want to say that I'm advocating for women's empowerment because that's what we should be doing every day. That we teach people and that should become our norm. Congratulations to the first group of semi-finalists. Now 13 more women will be joining them, so stay right there, we'll be right back. Thailand! Now this is not Thailand's first international competition. In fact, she represented her country at another pageant in 2019 and walked away with the crown. Antonia is hoping history repeats and she's named 72nd Miss Universe tonight. The next woman is Thailand. This gown was created by a Thai designer who has been following Antonia's evolution and pageant career since she first competed in 2019. Everything from the dress to the jewelry was custom made for her to wear tonight on the Miss Universe stage. One more time for John Legend in that falsetto. Yes. First of all, Thailand! We are down to the last. Number six, Avani Greg. Avani, what is your question for Thailand? If you could speak to a room full of students about online bullying, what would you say? I would say to not listen to what people have to say. Because in the end, everyone is entitled to their own opinion, but it is up to us on how we react to it. Use our voice to stand up for what is right, and be the change that we want to see in the world by leading by example. Don't listen to the hate because it doesn't shape us, but what shapes us is how we get back up and how we move forward from that. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we are down to the last question of this round. The first delegate in our top three is Proof headphones. Let's make sure those are on tight. Okay, we good? Right. Here is the question, Thailand. 
if you could live in one year, if you could live one year in another woman's shoes, who would you choose and why? I would choose Malala Yousafzai because I know the struggles that she had to deal with in order to get to where she is today. She had to fight for women's education and fight for all women to be able to stand strong and be the change and lead by example. If I could choose anyone, that would be her. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you very much, Thailand. All right. Australia is next. Australia, if you would please step forward. Thailand. On your perfect imperfection In your own I give my all to you You're my end and my beginning Even when I lose, I'm winning Till I give you all of me And you give me all you oh how many times do I have to tell you even requiring you beautiful to world is beating down I cannot believe we got to see John a legend perform all of me up close and personal but oh Zuri why are we on the way we right step here? forward one of you will represent women across the world in your role as Miss Universe if for any reason the winner should be unable to fulfill her duties, the first runner-up will take her place. This is it, guys. This is it. Best of luck to both of you. You're both beautiful and killing it. Uh, okay. The new Miss Universe is...